We present the paper concept guide, a learning system to support online video learning with concept map-based recommendation of learning paths. Learning by watch YouTube videos have been popular in recent years, especially during the pandemic. More than 80% of YouTube users learn something on YouTube according to a survey in 2017. Online YouTube videos could be used in materials for informal learning or supplementary materials for school education. YouTube education videos are diverse in terms of topic, format, and scope, and the video about emerging topics show up quickly since more than 20k hours of videos are uploaded every day. Availability of online videos help people to learn in their own pace and have more social interactions with other viewers by likes and comments. While learning on YouTube is appealing and popular, the challenges are also significant. YouTube search results are only based on keyword match and recommendation systems. It's hard for learners to find the videos that fit their specific needs and filter videos of good quality. We might all have experience of browsing a lot of videos until find the right one. And for new learners, it requires quite a lot of background knowledge. They might be confused by some of the videos as well. For example, recent videos about Bitcoins are not that consistent about the feature of Bitcoin price. On the other hand, YouTube search results are so unconstructed that it's hard to form some kind of learning sequence like formal learning experience. It's, uh, there are a few hints about the detailed scope of these videos to know which videos talk about more basic content and which is more advanced. To design a learning support system for YouTube videos, we propose to use keywords and the concept map for the challenges we just talked about. We try to use automatic content analysis and the keyword visualization to help learners preview and select videos. To support that learning experience, we offer to use concept map for a clear overview of important concepts that could be learned and viewed, and also recommend the learning order of uh, videos for systematic learning. For the selection of videos of good quality, we use user feedback and sentiment analysis for the evaluation. Related studies have been designed for scenarios in traditional classrooms and MOOCs. For visual analysis on single videos, previous studies have introduced diverse navigation designs, for example, to show the keywords, topics, and points of interest, uh, to preview tables and automatic segmentation of videos. To support efficient search uh, in videos, OCR and NLP techniques have been used to enable search in large-scale videos to identify specific video clips. Concept map is also introduced in this learning systems since it advantage in educational navigation. Algorithms and crowdsourcing techniques have been designed to extract semantic links between videos. These previous studies have tried to support video learning from different aspects related to more formal learning scenarios. Our study focuses more on the informal learning scenarios like in YouTube. In this work, we introduced Concept Guide, a concept map-based video learning system to support online informal learning on YouTube. This system consists of four parts, one main concept map, video rings, concept passes, and video passes. Here is the demo of our system. In Concept Guide, users can freely enter a keyword to search and learn the topic they are interested. The result will be visualized as a concept map-based view. We use Bitcoin as an example. The concept map is constructed from the transcript of top YouTube videos. Users can explore the relationship between this concept and learn this concept from learning sequence. Each node represents a concept and the closer nodes are more relevant concepts. You can, they can uh, re-click them. We can also uh, see their corresponding videos by clicking all over. When they uh, search a concept, 
a top of video will show up. It will show the most relevant videos and provide some more information about this concept. It includes video rings, concept paths, and video paths. In addition, we provide this concept learning recommendation called concept paths. Concept paths provide learners a clear learning path which are the, going to learn about the concepts and the video paths uh, recommend the video corresponding to this concept. When users have over one video, the concept as mentioned in this video will be highlighted in the concept map and the path. To construct a concept guide result, the backend start from capturing the video transcript and the user feedbacks like comments and the likes from YouTube API. Transcript and the tags are used to generate the concept map. We apply rig first to collect keywords. Then for this education corpus, which have domain-specific keywords and the polysemous words that need special attention, we consider to detect the domain of the topic and use Wikipedia glossaries to filter the keywords. So we use Google NLP building algorithms to detect the domain and then retain the words that are domains important into the keyword list. Later, we use features like frequency and relevant importance to remove redundant concepts and determine top uh, 30 concepts that are shown in the map. After the extraction of concepts, we calculated concept similarities and the prerequisites for the links between concepts. Concept similarity counts the co-occurrence between concepts on the video and also in Wikipedia, so it considers both the local corpus and the general corpus. The idea is that the related concepts are likely to show up together. For prerequisite relationship, we apply Penn's work for MOOC videos and follow similar rules to calculate their prerequisite score. For example, Basic concepts are more likely to be uh, mentioned in video of early lectures, while advanced ones is suddenly mentioned in these lectures. And the basic core concepts will be covered in more videos than advanced ones. With this relationship and links, we use topological thought to transfer the map into paths from the most basic concept to other concepts for the concept path. Furthermore, for the video ring and the color, we collect comments under the video and use text blocks to calculate the average sentiment of comments. The sentiment score and like counts are used to calculate the quality of videos from previous audience. In general, we apply different NLP techniques to analysis different corpus from YouTube and generate the concept map and the corresponding learning recommendations. To evaluate the concept guide system, we ran a user experiment and compile it with original YouTube interface. We tested whether the concept guide help learners as designed for learning experience and video selection. We conducted a within-subject experiment with 16 college students each participant had two learning sessions, one with YouTube and another used concept guide. In the concept guide condition, participants could still search on YouTube when they need. The order of learning system and the topic are counterbalanced to mitigate the possible ordering effect in the within subject design. We asked the participants about their learning experience, like learning focus, motivation, quality of video watched, in each session, and we collected their browser histories. We also did following interviews with them at the end of experiment. For the manipulation check, we checked the validations of concept maps with words visited and the materials consumed by learners in both conditions to understand the breadth and the relevance of this concept recommended to users. We highlight the concept that being watched by users and the main concept maps, and we can see that the concept coverage of YouTube seems to be smaller than the concept guide regardless the topic. 
and the total number of visits of this concept from all participants. This number is 30% higher with concept guide compared to the YouTube interface. From participants' self-evaluation and interviews, they score concept guide significantly higher than YouTube on learning guidance, scope of video content, learning concentration, and overall learning performance. They said concept guide helped them to learn in a more systematic way and find more relevant content. Concept guide helped them to find a different aspect of the topic or the content they haven't known before. Also, concept guide helped them focus more on the learning materials since it could avoid the participants to learn overlap the content again and again from different videos. In general, they feel that they learn better with concept guide because of the overview and the step-by-step -step guidance. Participants' browser history show similar patterns. Concept Guide help participants to explore more videos. The average number of video words in Concept Guide is more than in YouTube, with limited learning time, and there were less search needed for participants when using Concept Guide. Our system is helpful in guarding learnings and improve search efficiency. There are more results about the experiment. Please check the papers for more details. For the takeaway, we introduce a concept map based video learning system concept guide. It automatically analyzes transcript of video and comments like or dislike from previous audience to construct a concept map of the learning topic and recommend the learning paths for learners. We design the interface to visualize the concept map and the learning paths which connect to original YouTube videos for structural learning experience. We provide a proof of concept experiments that such learning systems could help people to get a better view of the topic to, and to help them to learn more systematically and confidently on YouTube, uh, which improve their learning efficiency and motivation as well.